Well, I'm sure we've all heard about the big facility that Intel is building in Ohio. And joining us today, Ron Leonard. He's Program Coordinator and Instructor of Engineering Technology and Technology Liberal Studies at Rhodes State College. And he's kind of in on the ground level of making sure that Intel gets the employees they need. So thanks for joining us today. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Okay, so what's it like? You're on the committee for this big semiconductor facility be being built in Ohio because they need specific kinds of engineers and workers. And so h how is this all working? What kind of information are you getting that you need to bring back to Rhodes? Oh, a wealth of uh, uh, work is being done. Uh, one of the many things I like about this committee is Intel is sitting in the room. So they are telling us exactly what they need us to teach uh, their future employees. And that is so useful when we're developing a curriculum because we're going to develop to meet their needs. Uh, second thing is having representatives from other Ohio uh, community colleges. So there's a lot of discussion on how each of us would meet those and how we would uh, execute the courses uh, and the certificates and the and the degree. So for me at Rhodes State College, this is giving me everything I need. Um, I I am getting uh, the course objectives. I'm getting the breakdown of what should go into lectures. The uh, breakdown of what the um, labs uh, would look like and equipment. So having all this uh, uh, being developed as a committee means I'm going to benefit in the sense that I can then use that to properly teach uh, semiconductors at Rhodes. And what Intel gains from this is uh, 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 commonality so that all of the Ohio um, uh, community colleges will be teaching the same curriculum and the same courses in the same way. This is fascinating to know that, first of all, Rhodes locally is involved so much and that, you know, you're able to make sure once these students graduate, they're going to get that job and they're going to be ready. So have you had to make a, a lot of change? I mean, was Rhodes already kind of prepared for this? Do you have to make some new things and make some a lot of big adjustments? Or are you doing, e doing this easily? It's going to be the answer is all of the above. Uh, one of the uh, very early um, statements by the committee and by Intel was that we already had 80% of it done. The courses that we teach for electromechanical uh, engineering technology and manufacturing engineering technology, these courses that we already teach for those degrees um, are 80% of the courses needed for the semiconductor uh, certificate. So we're only having to add three new courses, uh, Semiconductors 101, uh, Vacuum and Gases, and Introduction to Manufacturing. And so those are the three courses that are being developed by the committee. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, the, the goal was to get it done uh, before um, um, September, and we're going to meet that. Uh, so everything's going to be in the hands of not only me, but also the other community colleges that choose to offer this certificate. So you're hopeful that come this fall, students can start classes for, for these jobs. Yeah, um, registration is open. We, we put in the catalog, we put in the registration system, the uh, semiconductor classes. So um, if you want to, you can enroll today. How many people, engineers, are Intel trying to hire? So uh, Intel has put a lot of time and money into this. Um, they recognized right in the first stages of planning that even if we build uh, the facilities, where are we going to get the trained technicians? And so they went right to the community colleges. Um, there are grants uh, that are available to the community colleges for the development uh, of the curriculum. So um, Intel is targeting about 3,000 new uh, high-tech jobs. So that's huge. You know, that's 3,000 new employees in Ohio uh, with, the, uh, with this enterprise. And you see a, a breakdown, the 70% technicians 
is what would be our target audience in a community college. Uh, an engineer would be out of a bachelor's program. So that 70% of 3,000, that is the potential customer base for spread over all of the Ohio Community Colleges. Yeah, wow. Fascinating stuff, Ron. It's really neat to know that we're such a big part of it here in Lima, Ohio. So thanks for telling us all about it. You're welcome. All right. Don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.